Uh, yeah, so I hate to complain about rain. We've been getting a pile of rain. We really need the rain to hold up for a little bit. Uh, we're probably begging for rain in a month, but if we could just get one week of dry weather, we will be caught up. So today, a couple things. I'm going to spread fertilizer on our peanuts at around 250 pounds. Uh, Keefe is spraying cotton that is severely behind. Uh, all our last planted cotton looks like a jungle. It's embarrassing. There's oats, there's grass, probably pigweeds, dog fennels, you name it. Looks like a jungle. He's spraying all that, gonna kill it. Jeff is uh, spreading cotton fertilizer with the old ancient over the row fertilizer buggy. And Kyle is putting out nitrogen uh, with the cotton, KBH nitrogen rig. Busy, busy times. But for now, got my spreader buggy, going to get it greased up and uh, get it ready to roll. Well, the day's starting out good. Kyle pulled up and said it's not putting out nitrogen and we noticed that our little small tire here is uh, just spinning on the big tire. That's what engages the John Blue pump to pump out all the nitrogen. So we've got a turnbuckle that is uh, completely frozen. So we're gonna heat it up and hopefully get it to churn. I'm not lighting it this time. Where did it go? You're not gonna light it for me? Nope. Why, what happened last time? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the Acres TV with Randy? Yeah. Randy about burned my hand Set off. you up. Yeah, Randy doesn't know how to operate a torch, clearly. <laughs> and neither do I. Loosen it, get like a full grip on it. Yeah, look. The whole piece is twisting. The bitch is twisting. All right, so we just went ahead and took the whole rod off, got it on the welding table, see if we can hopefully, fingers crossed, get it to uh, get it to move. Find it? I think that's I think that's it, yeah. My arms are smoked. So out of shape. Still on fire. So this rod uh bent just a little bit earlier when we had it on the uh the nitrogen rig. We tried to loosen it. I think I heated it up just a grunt too much. And tweaked it and then it also melted. Got some of these threads jacked up. That's too big, man. See, it's got the little curve to it. Like a glove. All right, fingers crossed, we've got it. It's 70% better, it's nowhere near perfect. Really need a whole another threaded rod to put through there. But we're going to uh, put it back. Hopefully that's where we uh, need to be. Uh, I mentioned earlier, but I didn't really show you guys. So. This is your John Blue pump. It's what turns everything. And this little tire touches the big tire. The little tire didn't have enough pressure against the big tire to turn it. So this is the only way to adjust it. Here goes nothing. Kyle is headed to the field now and we're gonna try it out. Um, I've got about a 
75% chance of it working when you're in transport mode. Whoa, almost, almost fell. That would have been funny. But, um, yeah, the tire is still touching the big tire when it's all the way up, which is the opposite of the problem that we had. So I guess we cut the uh, threads off a little too short. But it's not, uh, it's not churning. So let's see what we got. Tire's on it. Turning. Change jumping though. Good? Yeah. Like, I think all we need to do, we'll tighten that chain back up a little bit because now that chain's kind of slapping a little bit. Well, hallelujah. Looks like we, we fixed it. Hopefully it'll stay, stay fixed. No! No! Well, everything is just falling apart. Uh, Jeff broke a chain, he's fixed it. Thought we had this fixed, but it's not fixed. So I got the uh, professional on it, Keefe, figure out why in the world now the tire won't get off the big tire. Good deal. Got it fixed thanks to Keefe. Keefe, step out here in the light and let's uh, guess just tell them what we had. I guess the the threads on the other one were probably just about ruined. Why do you think we had such an issue with it? Uh, Jim worked on it. I worked on it? Yeah. You think I, I heated up too much? Yeah, and it, was bent the... it was warped. I had to cut the warped piece out. Okay. It's all your fault, Jim. So it's my fault. This is your fault. This is your fault. Okay. Yeah. Well. I could have done 200 acres awesome. by now. 200 acres? That's what it is. If I measure dry, it should dry. Everything should dry right in the hole. And that's that worked out perfect. Because see, now you got plenty of adjustment mm -hmm. to go up. So I pretty much did, did us a favor. Yeah, you, be, you did. I don't know how I got my measurement so far off of it. All right, pick it up, we'll see. So we are off of the tire. Ease it down and see how, how tight it gets. I think now we just need to adjust it where we got more. Yeah, because I'm afraid he could, he could test it and see, but... Perfect. Well, it's been a change of plans. I'm currently uh, loading up the fertilizer buggy. Well, technically, I've already loaded it up. And now I'm walking into the tractor, the 8430, and uh, Dad is actually going to come and run this. And Kyle, hopefully by now everything's going well with the um, uh, nitrogen rig. Jeff is fertilizing the cotton with the over the row, old ancient uh, spreader buggy. And hopefully we get some gypsum pretty soon to spread on the peanuts. So weird. Polarized sunglasses, you can't read the digital readout on this Raven. It's just all blurry. You can see it fine. Nothing. Nothing. First field I'm headed to is the Hudson South Field. It is a whopping 30 acres. We also have a Hudson North Field, which is another 30 acres. We've got Beavis Highways 23, Wheels is 14. And that's all the dry land peanuts. These are my cheat sheets. I'm at 250 pounds. So that's a spreader constant of 550. 
All right, good, that's already set. Product density, we're gonna put it 75. And our rate is uh, 250 pounds. And we should be good. We settled on 250 pounds, right? Uh, yeah. We're filming too. No, you good. Good, 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 good. Oh, it's terrible. I'm telling you, it's like... I don't know where to come from. Terrible. All the dog fennels? Dog fennels. They're everywhere. I Exploded. Mean, I mean... I wouldn't have having dog fennels already. Mm-mm. Going. Flip that on. That chain should start turning. Yep. Yep. Right there where you started at. Yeah, it'll be. I made a big skip. I don't see nothing coming out yet. Should be. We're slinging. Oh, yeah, I uh, see it. We'll watch the peanut leaf. See him flicker? Flicker now. Yeah. No, you should be good. 12, uh, 12th gear, 7.3. 7.3. Uh, pretty much you're going to hit every other row, every other six rows. We're, we're spreading 12 rows. 12 rows, right. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, the, it'll, it'll be the, you'll always be in the same track that the planter ran. Yeah, just right. every oh, other yeah. track. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't get, you skip, skip that one and then you skip, get the next one. The next one, yeah. It looks like they would have put that little whip in there on the bottom, don't it? Yeah, it works out perfect though, right there, because you can see to the very back of back it. Back of it, and when you, you get mean, down. Yeah, you oh, you can okay. tell to exactly like where you're you're where you the do. last little bit. Oh, okay. I see now because it's mm -hmm. going down. Piles up in the front. Gotcha. And when I get to the ends, I just slow down. I don't even worry about turning it off. Right. You can just leave her on. So it should work out to skip that, and then we'll be. Right here, is it? Nine, ten rows. Yep, right here. Yep, okay. Fifteen ten rows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Could be like the old days, just having to drive the tractor. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, and all you gotta watch, as long as you see that number. Yeah, that 612. Yeah, you're, you're good, I keep it right there. Uh, and as long as you see that number, you know you're spinning. spinning you ever look at that number, it's like 100? Right. Like something's done happen to the spinners. Right. And if yeah. something usually happens to the bed chain, it's gonna start beeping at you, like you know something right. right. But what about when you cut them off, you gotta go forward with it and then come back or you just pull it off? Yep, so you'll, yeah, you'll just go, like this number three, right. go all the way go down. down and then in, and uh -oh. then a little squiggly line comes on, uh -huh. puts it in float, and then back off of it. That turns it off. That turns it off, yep. Okay. Like when you have to go back to get more fertilizer or have to turn it off or something. Uh -huh. Just don't push it, pull them back or nothing. Right. Okay. Yeah, you go down and then in, uh -huh. let it sit there a second, and then just click it back. Click it back and it's off. Into the neutral position, yep. Here we are on the nitrogen rig. We just got it fixed. That long pipe back there that adjusts the small tire onto the big tire that makes it spin, it was all messed up. It wasn't working. So Jim messed it up. Put too much heat on it. And we tried to turn it when we shouldn't have. So I guess it's both of our faults. But 
It's doing a dandy job right now. Maybe we won't get stuck. See if we can get on the line here. This is an aggravating piece of equipment, that's for sure. Let's see here. Put her down right there. Let her rip. Six and a half. Six. There we go. We set now. See, working good. Got them silver balls back there floating. That's what you want. Now we just don't want to mess none of the cotton up now. Since we got it fixed. And there it is. There it is, folks. Just like that. Some nitrogen on the cotton. hit the tree well looks like I messed up this time no no I forgot to put I don't know what you call it, but the thing that holds the chain together. I feel so stupid. Because now it's my fault that it's not working. I gotta go back to the barn and fix the chain. Ain't that just ridiculous? It's just not a good Friday. I should name this Friday Bad Friday. And it is a bad Friday. So. Yep.